Hi, with this video we're going to show you how to perform a conjugating transfer analysis of a single cylinder diesel engine case. As an example, we will be using one of our tutorial, the generic full cycle diesel engine case, which you see here represented in the middle. The geometry is divided into two subdomains, one subdomain which will be representing the combustion analysis as it will be handled by Forte and uh, a second subdomain that represents the outer case of the engine and will be handled by Fluent. Once you've downloaded the folder containing uh, all the setup files, you can go ahead and explore the different subfolders, Forte and Fluent folder. To set up a Forte case, the first thing you need to do is to create a surface geometry. Here we've already created one, and you see how each surface that will represent a different boundary condition of Forte setup has already its own name. Once you've created the facet geometry, select on File, Save As, and export this file in a TGF format. Once you've done that, go to your Forte folder, open the Forte project file, and import the TGF geometry that you've just saved. Select the proper unit and select OK. Once the geometry has been properly imported, go ahead and check the rest of the setup. Navigate through the mesh control, the models, the chemistry set used, the transport property, the turbulence model, the spray model set, solid injector, and the nozzles property. Verify that the boundary condition are properly set and that the head and the liner, they both have a heat transfer option selected. And then go to the simulation control node, activate the system coupling node, add the head and the liner as coupling surfaces, activate the generation of a reuse point Set it up to 595, that will be corresponding to the end of the open portion of the cycle. Make sure that you have the heat rate output variable selected and select apply and then save. Once you save your Forza project, do the same thing with the Fluent project. Set it up, add all the materials that are needed, air, coolant, exhaust, solids, etc., etc. Apply proper material to each fluid zone or solid zone. Set up boundary conditions. While setting up the boundary condition, look for engine head make sure that this is set up via system coupling on the thermal tab. Do the same thing with the liner surface. Once this is done, go to File, Export, System Coupling, and write out a SCP file that is needed for system coupling analysis. Finally, launch the System Coupling UI, select your Working Directory folder, select File, run the script that has been already prepared that you can download from the tutorial file case, explore the setup, make sure everything is properly set, and don't forget, right-click on the solution, and solve. To investigate the results of the simulation, go to your working directory into the system coupling result folder. Make sure to have selected the multiple file interface. Select both of the file, add to list, and load all the parts. Here we see temperature distribution on the left and a transfer rate per unit of area on the right. And with this, we conclude our video.
For additional resources, please have a look at the following link. Thank you for watching.